I want to stand for council because I've lived in the area all my life and I think that Eaton Park's something to do. Eaton Park's a lovely place. It's a very residential area with lots of green space around it. Everybody around the area is very kind and respectful to us. So lots of residents want to discuss green space, um, current and social behaviour with motorbikes. So a resident contacted me regarding motorbikes and misuse of them um, with a gate that was necessary that was unnecessarily open. Um, so once I knew about it, I got onto the council and we've had it fixed and had a new lock put on it. So the gate's now closed. So lots of residents complain about litter in the area, general untidiness. So we organised a litter pick, which was a huge turnout, and we've collected over 20 bags of lunch. The litter picks aren't something that happen very often in Eaton Park, um, and it's something that we want to do more of in the future, something that we can go back to certain areas that we've already done and be tied to them. Residents are really happy to know that litter picks are going on, and they're really happy to see the area getting tied with them. If I was elected, then that would be something that I would carry on doing and we would arrange for more to to go across the board. So the ward is surrounded by lots of green space and the council are looking to build a number of houses on it at the minute. It's a lovely social place, it's somewhere where you would go to walk your dogs and play with your children. Obviously if the houses were to be built, that's something that wouldn't be possible. So I go to all the resident associations, it's something that they're really concerned about, something that we're going to work to oppose the council with um, to keep the green space as much as we can. If I got elected, then it would be something that I'd be able to take much further and something that I could work much harder on and get the green space I could from. I'm a Girl Guide leader, which means I look after lots of children all the time. Um, from that, we do a lot of social activities, we travel all around the city. So recently we raised just short of £100 for the Wheelstone Hospital. It's obviously a sort of really proud moment and we got the opportunity to take the girls to the hospital to share our story, to share what we've been doing, to present them with the cheque and that's something that I'm really proud of, something that I can say I took my girls to do. If I get elected, then one of the things that I want to work closely on is getting the local plan changed to alter the way the Berry Hill fields are included in it. Also, a lot of the problems that I'm getting back is that there's nobody visible in the area and that's something that I want to change, give you a voice. Residents of Eaton Park have been neglected and left out for the past four years and that's something that I want to change. Residents are currently getting in touch to say that actually the current council we can't get in touch with, we can't get anything, anything done and that's something that I want to change. I want to be able to be visible and get your voice heard. So when Kent's major let down in getting around, um, for somebody without a car it's really difficult to get from A to B and that's something that I want to change. As a young female I've been welcome with open arms into the Stoke Conservatives. There's lots of different people from lots of different backgrounds, lots of different ages, and we get up to some pretty amazing stuff from different sort of campaigning techniques to actually going into being social. Groups.